Diabetes Technology, What Patients Really Want. We, the people with diabetes, want to live every day to our fullest potential without fear or confusion. The artificial pancreas won't only be able to check my blood and give me insulin when I tell it to do so, but will actually be able to keep me safe 24-7. So here's what I do when I change my insulin pump. Take this off, pull this off me, throw that away. I'm gonna pull out the tubing. Now I've got an empty insulin pump. While that's rewinding, take a fresh reservoir push air into it, disconnect it, and I take this, plug the reservoir into the tubing. I'll take this and I'll put it inside the pump. Put the pump down temporarily. I'll take this thing here, put it inside this. Pull the sticker off, there's a needle under there. Push it down into the plunger. Pull out the needle. So that's thing number one. Uh, thing number two, this sensor looks kind of like a mosquito. This is another one of those inserter deals a little sticker off, pull the plastic off this needle. You hear me breathing because it hurts. Pull the sticker, pull that out. So now I take a battery. This battery is sitting on a charger. Put that sensor right here. Now I'll take some second skin. So that guy's sitting there. This gives me information that I use to drive this. Then I have to use my brain, sometimes Microsoft Excel, to figure out how much insulin I want to give myself. So here's the part that freaks me out, and here's why I'm doing this video in the first place. I'm 36 years old and I can handle this. But imagine if you were seven or three, and you had to do something like this. I'm Christina. I'm 17 years old and was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when I was 11. I lived a pretty average life, but after my diagnosis, everything changed. My ultimate goal is simple, to find a cure for diabetes. But until this happens, we need a way to eliminate the life-threatening lows and highs. I need help to quickly counteract the directional arrows and minimize the dynamics of roller coaster changes in my blood glucose. My dream is for diabetics to have A1Cs of 5.8% all the time. The best technology advancements are those that make diabetes less of a hassle and reduce the mental burden for those of us living with diabetes. A faster acting insulin, more efficient CGMs, the integration of glucagon into insulin pumps, and the use of cloud technology will all improve the lives of people with diabetes and take away not all, but definitely some of the hassle. We need the experts to help us understand our options and have access to those choices. You know what word I hate? Proprietary. Do you know what word I love? Universal. I have an insulin pump, a continuous glucose monitor, a couple of different types of blood glucose meters, all from different companies, all requiring different uploading requirements, and none of them, unfortunately, play nicely with each other. I don't get the full picture of my diabetes management. I want to be able to upload all of my device info and then add to it if necessary onto a web interface and then have all of that data stored securely into the cloud to be able to share that data with my healthcare team or to reach back and look at it if necessary. This is important to me. 
The more holistic a view of my diabetes management that my healthcare team and I have, the healthier I'm going to be. There's no reason that we can't use near-field communication and Bluetooth to transfer the data to our smart devices. And that's really my vision is to move it from a intensively data entry system to something that's more automatic and more interactive, allowing us to focus on not the data, but on the community and ourselves and developing ways to encourage each other in the care of our diabetes. I was told that plus or minus 20% was all right by FDA standards. Wrong answer for me. I'm paying high costs for terrible accuracy. This is unacceptable quality. An HbA1c every three months is not a true description of my daily choices. Diabetes measurements need to be accurate. Our lives depend on this accuracy. We need to automatically integrate data from multiple devices, not only to see where we've been and why, but also to help predict where we are going. Some patients are bypassing the industry and innovating these solutions on our own. I have created an application called Manage BGL that provides people with algorithms to improve control hour by hour. It helps people be proactive with precision. Blood glucose test strip companies provide us with control solutions so that we can evaluate the performance of our test strips. Patients test for ketones in their urine and are more than equipped with the skills to read color-coded chemical charts. If we as patients had the means to mix a drop of our insulin with a chemical strip or a solution that would tell us definitively whether or not our insulin had been compromised, we could dose safely and troubleshoot more effectively. Why can't we have a low-tech tool to help us be sure that our insulin is still good? Like a litmus test, or as I've called it, an insulitmus test. The mental and emotional side for me has been a lot worse than the physical side. It's taken a bigger toll on me. And technology can help there um, by making life easier. And this all ties back to just the stigma of mental health. Uh, is considered separate from physical health, but they're not. They're, you gotta have both for you to really feel well. So I hope the reimbursement model can change to include you know, mental health, emotional uh, support. That's basically what we need is we need support. You'll notice that one of the things about diabetes is that there's a lot of needles and it sucks. Unfortunately though, pumps are expensive. A lot of people who don't live in Western countries can't get a hold of pumps. It's a lot of money in here. These are a couple thousand bucks and they're usually paid for by insurance, but you usually have to fight your insurance company to get them. We want technology that gives us the power to know that we are managing diabetes well. Each of us wants interchangeable information in preferred visual formats on our favorite smart devices with meaningful actions timed to daily choices linked to personal and technical support mapped to patterns and outcomes relevant to our physicians valued by insurance and industry partners we want to be heard. We want to be heard.